Generation 1 Transformer Review Decepticon Blitzwing Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Blitzwing's tech spec. Function, Ground and Air Commander. Quote, Destroy first, think later. Blitzwing's ability as a triple changer to rapidly transform makes him one of the most dangerous Decepticons. He has a cruel sense of humor, and he's loudmouth, belligerent, and brash. Blitzwing flies at Mach 2.7 with a range of 1,500 miles and has heat-seeking concussion missiles when in plane formation. As a tank, he has a track-mounted cannon that fires explosive shells 3.5 miles. In his robot form, he has an electron scimitar and gyro blaster rifle. Blitzwing often gets stuck in mid-transformation. Blitzwing is rated an 8 in strength, a 5 in intelligence, a 9 in speed, an 8 in endurance, a 6 in rank, a 7 in courage, a 7 in firepower, and a 7 in skill. This gives Blitzwing an overall rating of 7.1. Okay, now it's time to do the official review of the Generation 1 Decepticon Blitzwing action figure. Before we start into the review, let's look at what you get in the package when you buy a Generation 1 Blitzwing. First you get the red decoder strip that you use on the tech spec on the back of the box. You get a sticker sheet, which I've already applied. You get the instruction booklet, which I found rather amusing because it actually says excessive force is not necessary. Adult supervision may be necessary for younger children. That means this guy's hard to transform, and you might break him when you do it, even if you're not a kid. So be very careful. And it shows you all the different ways because he is a triple changer, and he turns from robot into tank, or robot into plane, then into tank. So. Blitzwing is somewhat difficult to transform. Now, let's also take a look at the box itself. You get this nice shaped box, not small. You get the, all the different ways to transform him on top. Nice picture of him there. All three forms on the bottom, three forms on the side, and on the back. On the very back here you have the epic space battle you have his tech spec and the two robot points you get for purchasing him. Now, you get with him also, as far as weapons go, three concussion missiles that are very easy to lose because they shoot about 30 feet. You get a sword for one hand and a machine gun for the other. All right, let's bring out the toy. Here you go, Generation 1 Blitzwing. He stands nicely because he has those feet, arms stick out, legs don't move at all, arms move up and down. Okay, you can put the sword in his left hand, and you can put the machine gun in the right hand. They don't go in the other hands. You can't switch them. They have to be in these two hands because of where the posts are. Okay, bring the sword down a little bit, bring the gun up. Okay. Oops, the gun fell out. That happens. His gun doesn't stand too well, but it will stay. There you go. All right, so as I said, he looks very good. Looks very much like the Generation 1 character. On the back, looks very nice. With You see the three Decepticon logos and the rub symbol. Wings in the back. And there you go. As I said, nice looking guy. I believe on the side of the wing is where it says Takara Company LTD 1980-84 Japan. Voila. All right, now let's transform this guy. Take his weapons off. First we're gonna do plane mode. You're gonna push his fists back in, which you gotta be careful because they have to go in and snap into place so that his arms can now go in here. You're going to leave these 
fins up, his feet, because they're going to be the tail wings. You're going to push his legs up in. You're going to bring the turret around enough that you can bring out his nose cone. Now he has landing gear here that is very hard to get out and is very delicate. So I'm going to use this mini screwdriver to pull it out with. There you go. Okay. Finally, you're going to bring the wings around. And here you have Generation 1 Blitzwing. In jet form. Now, we're going to put his weapon in. Weapons, I should say. And they're the two little missiles. Be super careful with these that they don't shoot out at you. Because you'll lose them and you won't find them again, trust me. So, there you go. Locked and loaded. Okay, here he is. Jet form. He's good looking jet. I mean, he's not as good, in my opinion, as maybe Skywarp or Thundercracker or some of the Seekers, but, you know, for what he is, he's a triple changer. Come on. He looks good. And it can roll because of the landing gear. Taking a little close look. The turret does stick out a little bit in the end. Can be, I guess, like a tailpipe of some sort on a jet. I don't know. Um, let's just finish this up now and take him into robot form. Or not robot form, but tank form. Okay, get those missiles out without shooting them across your room. There it is. Okay. Landing gear goes back inside. Nose cone, put it in place. All right, now put his feet and wings down. And you're going to separate these. Bring up the tire treads for the tank. Fits nicely there. And there you go. Not too bad. Pull out his tank turret. And you have your Generation 1 Blitzwing tank. And he rolls nicely like a tank. Makes just a little noise on this wooden table, but hey. Let's bring it in a little closer so you can see. I like him a lot. You have the nice rub symbol there. Decepticon logo on the top. You see down here these act as his turbines when he's in jet form. He's menacing looking, I like it. He goes well with the Seeker Jets because it's along that Decepticon military theme. So overall, I think he's necessary for your collection. By far, he's my favorite triple changer. The, um, I also like Astro Train. Uh, I was never a fan of Springer in the later triple changers. So I would definitely get him for your collection. He was a major player in the original Generation 1 cartoon. Um, please, stay tuned now for my final thoughts and the pros and the cons on the Generation 1 Blitzwing action figure. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Blitzwing toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to first start off with saying that Blitzwing's toy looks like the Generation 1 cartoon. And as you all know, that's extremely important to me. When the toy looks like the cartoon, it the, I give the action figure a huge plus in that category. That to me is one of the most overbearing factors in my final decision on if I rate the toy positively or negatively. And Blitzwing definitely looks like his Generation 1 counterpart in the cartoon. Um, I also like that Blitzwing, because he is a triple changer, is three toys to play with for a kid instead of just two. He can transform into tank mode, into plane mode, or into robot form. And you kind of get more of your money's worth when you have some extra things to play with. Um, and I also like that uh, Blitzwing came with a lot of weapons. You got missiles for when he's in the uh, plane form, you got a sword, and you got uh, a blaster gun. Plus he has a tank turret. So there were a lot of weapons on Blitzwing and that makes him extra fun to play with in my opinion. As far as cons go, um, my number one con with Blitzwing is, and this comes from being part of, partially be, 
comes from being uh, that he's a triple changer and that's he's difficult to transform uh, when the instruction manual tells you that you need parent supervision to transform it because you might break it then you realize yeah this this guy's uh, pretty difficult to transform and I even needed a small screwdriver to help me transform him so he is quite difficult and when you're a little kid playing with toys you don't want to be uh, worried you're gonna break it or need an extra tool to transform it the other uh, con I had was not quite as big and that was just that in robot form Blitzwing kinda had poor posability as far as his arms how well they move and uh, no really good movement in the legs but uh, other than that that would be the only cons I have um, I like I like uh, Blitzwing and I would recommend him um, please post a comment in my comment section or subscribe to my uh, channel or become a friend of mine on YouTube any of that kind of interaction makes me happy and makes me want to keep making these videos. Thank you for watching.